We're going to take a look at setting up our development environment uh, so that we can program uh, with uh, JSP and servlets, uh, those kinds of things that we'll be doing in this class. So to do that, we've got uh, basically five things we need to do. First, we need to install the Java Development Kit. Uh, we're going to use NetBeans, so we'll need to download it, get it installed. We're going to use a Tomcat 8 server, uh, so we'll get that downloaded and installed. Then we'll need to configure NetBeans to use our Tomcat uh, that we installed. And then the last thing we'll do is just test everything and make sure it's, it's working like it should. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is install that Java Development Kit. Easiest way to get there is just to Google Oracle JDK. And it's this first one. We want the Java Standard Edition downloads. And this is the one we're looking at. Um, your number may change just a little bit uh, as the, the uh, Java Development Kit increments, and that's fine. Um, but we're ultimately looking for eight, looking for the Java Standard Edition download, the JDK, version 8. Uh, and then these are the minor versions. We'll download it. Uh, you'll have to pick your package. I'm on Windows 64-bit, so this is the one I want. And that took a couple minutes to download, so I jumped forward in time, but we've got it downloaded now. The other thing that we'll need to download is NetBeans. So I'll just Google for NetBeans download. And it should be NetBeans.org downloads. And with this one, I'm looking for the Java uh, Enterprise Edition. So that gives us the NetBean, uh, NetBeans uh, software development kit. Uh, it gives us some of these other Java options here. It gives us HTML5, uh, and then we can get Glassfish and, and Tomcat. So this is the one that we want, this one in the middle. And it'll automatically detect that we need the Windows 64-bit version, and it's downloading now. And I've jumped forward in time, and we have the NetBeans downloaded. So the last thing that we need to get now is the Tomcat server. Uh, and it is at tomcat.apache.org. We are looking for version 8, so Tomcat 8. We are looking at binary distributions core, so we're right in here. I'm on Windows 8 64-bit, so I'm going to grab the Windows, uh, I'm going to grab the 64-bit Windows zip. Okay, and it is downloaded. So we have everything downloaded, now let's uh, work on getting them installed. So the first thing I want to install is the Java Development Kit. And this is just simply a default install. I'm going to just accept the default destination folder. and it successfully installed. Okay, I've got Java installed, so now I'm going to install NetBeans. Uh, I'm going to install the Glassfish, that's fine, we won't use it much. I'm not going to install the Tomcat though, we're going to do a standalone. So we're just going to take the default there.
we'll install JUnit. Probably won't use it, but that way we'll have it. I'm going to accept the default path. And notice it found the Java development kit, so everything looks good there. I'm going to let it automatically check for, check for updates. And the installation for NetBeans takes quite a while, so I've uh, leapt forward in time. I'm not going to provide anonymous usage data, and I'm going to finish. And I have NetBeans installed now. Uh, the last thing I need to do is get the Apache Tomcat. And this is a pretty simple installation, so I'm just going to extract the zip file. And I'm going to look at it here. There's the folder it extracted to, and I can see it's within another folder, and then there's the actual file. So uh, if I go back here to the root of downloads, I'm going to go right here and name this Tomcat 8. Tomcat-8. And inside of Tomcat 8, are all the files to make it run. So now I'm going to grab this Tomcat 8 folder and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it into the C drive. And you can put this anywhere you want to put it. Uh, you can put it inside of your documents folder if you want to. Uh, I'm just putting it here um, just so it's an easy place to find. I like my applications down on the start bar, so I'm going to find NetBeans and pin it to the taskbar. clean up here and let me execute NetBeans now I want to add that Tomcat server I'm going to tools servers Glassfish is installed as part of the installation of NetBeans. We left that. So now I want to add a server. I want to add a Tomcat server and I'm going to name it Tomcat 8. I need to tell NetBeans where to find it. You can find it in the C drive. Tomcat 8 folder. I need to give it a username and password for the Tomcat manager. I'm not terribly worried about security in this environment, so it doesn't have to be uh, an incredibly secure password. I'm going to use a username of Tomcat. And I'm going to use the password that we use for all of our other stuff in class. And I'm going to, the user doesn't exist, so I'm going to create it. Port 8080 is fine. And now we've added the Tomcat server. So now that we ha think we have everything running correctly, let's test it. So I can close the start page. I'm going to create a new project. It's going to be a Java web project. It's going to be a web application. I'm going to name it uh, config test because this is just simply an application that tests our configuration. Um, here, all of my projects will be stored in a location. You can change this if you want. Right now, uh, it's storing it in my documents in a NetBeans projects folder. 
I like that. Uh, if you want to change that to your H drive, uh, you're welcome to change it to the H drive and, and create a folder in there if you would like. What server am I going to use? I'm going to use my Tomcat 8 server. I'm going to use the Java EE7. And I'm not using any framework, so that'll be fine. I'm on the Projects tab over here, Config Test. I can see that's my web application that I just created, my project I just created. Uh, if I go into Web Pages, that's the only place I'm going to work right now. I can see there's already an index.html in there. I don't need that. I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to right click on Web Pages and add a new JSP. And I'm going to call it Index. So essentially I just deleted the HTML and created an index.jsp. So uh, it's got some comments up here at the top. I'm just going to leave all that alone for right now. Uh, I will come in here and make some minor modifications. We'll get into the details of the what I'm doing here in following videos for right now. I'm just going to, to do it. So I'm just simply getting the date, using the date utility, getting today's date, uh, and dropping it in after my HTML there. So if you're following along, um, there's the title that we've always worked with. There's an H1 we've always worked with. This is just text on the page. Today is. And then this starts the Java. This is the Java that we are going to do. So we're going to get the date and dump it to a string. And then that just closes up the tag. I'll save this up. And now I want to run it on my local Tomcat. The, the Tomcat server I installed on my computer. Uh, so I will right click the project and select run. You can see it working down here. Uh, firewall needs to open up for that 8080, uh, so I'm going to do it on the private networks, uh, but not on public networks and allow access. And it looks like I have an error to troubleshoot. So this isn't a very descriptive message about what went wrong. So I can click into these tabs to get more detail about what's going on with the server. Uh, and this is the message that kind of cued me in. Uh, and it was I was able to look up. And it looks like there's a bug uh, in Tomcat with one of the configuration files. So let's correct that. And to fix the bug, I need to get into the Tomcat server. the bin folder. Catalina is the name of the, the batch file that executes everything and gets the Tomcat running. I want to edit that. So I can edit it in Notepad. is fine. And I'm looking for and I'm looking for no Julie config. I need to remove these quotations. And I'm looking for no Julie manager. And I need to remove those quotations as well. And then I'll save this up. Close everything up. And then let's give it another shot. Right click the project and select run. And our application is working as we expected. So we now have the Java Development Kit installed working correctly. We have NetBeans 8 installed and working correctly. And we have our Tomcat 8 server installed 
we have the configuration between NetBeans and Tomcat working correctly, uh, and we have a successful test. So we are done with this uh, piece uh, for our development environment.